Get ready, my friend, for a wild ride in the world of subconscious values. So buckle up. You may be asking why in the world are subconscious values such a big deal? It's because they drive everything in your life without you knowing it. Imagine if you had that power. Hi, my name is Sandy. I help women rewrite their past and rewire their future so that they can create the lifestyle they want without overwhelm or stress. If you're new to my channel, don't forget right up here, hit that button and subscribe because every week I put out new training. So hit the button. So what are subconscious values? Or also you hear it referred to as core values. Your subconscious values are established the first eight years of your life when we're very young. Everything that we see and everything that we hear, we are absorbing. Do you ever wonder why, you know, there's certain things that you behave a, a certain way and you think, well, why am I? It's because you've had that value from a very young age. And the interesting thing with the subconscious value is because it is in your subconscious, you're not consciously aware, but yet you will make decisions and you will hold beliefs that you're very iron classed, you know, behind. And sometimes you don't even know why. And if you stop long enough, to kind of question it and go, well, why do I believe that? Or why do I think that? You'll realize that you've had that belief for a very long time. Now, as we go through life, we continue to have more experiences and more, you know, environmental things, influences of people and jobs and t media that will affect us. And all of these things play a role into our values. And so if we don't take the time to stop and understand our subconscious value, then we're never going to be aligned from the inside out. Let me give you an example. I started building my business and one of the things I did not have in my subconscious values, because I went through an exercise, I do this in my program, um, have my students go through it so that you can identify at a subconscious level, what are your values? Anyway, I went ahead and I did this exercise and I did not have money or wealth or abundance. I had none of that in my values. Well, how can I attract that to myself in terms of my my business if I don't even hold it as a value. And sometimes we get caught up, especially when it comes to money, that money's bad or I don't deserve money or I shouldn't be thinking about it or it's greedy. And so we, we kind of push away from it and we don't hold it as a value. But if you're going to be a business owner, then you darn well better have some form of money or abundance or wealth in your top three values. So I changed that and it is one of my top values now because you know what the reality is with money, one, it gives you choices and then two, it gives you the ability to help others. You can't have impact if you don't have money. So making sure that you know what your subconscious values are is, is, essential to having that alignment. Now your values can change over time. So what you value right now may not be the same down the road. Perhaps, you know, you're looking to have a relationship. So that might be a high value for you as relationship. Once your relationship is, is solid and established, that may go down in terms of what your values are. What your values are, are things like honesty and trust, fun, relationship, family, faith, excuse me, abundance. These are some of the different values. And you can go online and Google up, you know, values and you can find all kinds of different lists. And what you want to do is kind of start looking through those so that you can identify what are the values that you align to. Like I said, there's an exercise that I take my students through that really does help you identify what your top values are, but at least get a list of like what you feel like are your top 10 so that you can start to look at, are you in alignment in your life, you know, with those? So one of the big ones for me was self integral. So I was in integrity with others. If somebody would ask me to do something, I would always do it. I always put other people 
in the front and I would take care of doing things. But when it came to me, I would break my promise over and over. So you can imagine when you're building a business and you have things that you need to get done, if you continue to break that promise, well, your business isn't going to grow. And what I realized is I had a little bit of a conflict because on the flip side, I am personality type. There's a really good book and I forget the name of it, um, but it talks about four different personality types. I'm a rebel uh, because I'm all about freedom. And so that was what was pushing up against this self-integral because I felt like if I had to do these things, I lost my freedom. Crazy. But can you imagine how difficult that now makes it? So there may be something in your life where you sit there, you know, and think, why can't I do this? Why is this so hard for me? I know for me, you know, losing weight has always been hard. And so understanding, you know, why am I eating certain things? Why am I not exercising? Why am I not doing like when you start to understand those things and you align them to what you're holding as a value, it might start to, especially something like self integral, because if I'm not being self integral and now I'm trying to lose weight and I know I need to exercise say five days a week and I'm not doing it, well, I'm not being in, te in integrity to myself. So your values are really important because they drive your life. So take, the time go out there and find the list that you know of values and pick your top 10 that you feel like are in alignment then look at your life all the different parts of your life whether it's your personal whether it's your business your relationships um your job whatever it is and go hey do the do these especially if you can get and break down your top three does my job does my relationship does it align to these top three values and if your answer is no that might explain why maybe you're not as happy or as comfortable in that relationship um, as you should be. Okay, so thank you for uh, hanging out with me. Make sure if you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. Um, every week I put out new training on Thursday. So go ahead and hit that button. And I look forward to seeing you on the inside.